Hi, I'm Tim Allen, Director of Sales for Provident. Joining me is Randy Carter from the Anderson and Vreeland Technology Team. We're here on site at the Fox Valley Technical College in Appleton, Wisconsin to demonstrate a few of the press room products offered by Provident. We're doing a two-part series on the most important components of an enclosed chambered doctor blade system and how to best utilize this technology in your plant. Randy? I'm standing here in front of the PCMC Avanti Flexo Press. This is an eight color CI that prints a maximum web width of about 50 inches. It uses enclosed chamber systems. Enclosed chamber system uses two blades, one wiping and one containment with two end seals. This style of system prevents dust, dirt, and other particles from getting into your ink and also avoids solvent flash off to help keep our inks a lot more consistent. Let's take a look at some of the materials that we commonly use to make doctor blades today. In part one, we're going to review the different types of doctor blades. The three main characteristics are the type of material, the edge profile, and the thickness. Let's start by reviewing the materials. The first one is a high carbon Swedish steel. This is a very pure, very high metallurgical property steel that is held to the strictest of tolerances, both in flatness, straightness, thickness. The second one is a long life micro alloy composition. It features a unique chemical composition that gives it high abrasion resistance and much longer life. Our third blade choice is stainless steel. This features high oxidation and corrosion resistance and is primarily used for water-based inks and coatings. Our last blade is a polyester or mylar blade. These blades are typically used in the containment side and feature great flexibility and sealing properties against the analog roll. We're now gonna take a look at the four most common edge profiles available in today's doctor blades. The first edge profile is the rounded or radius tipped edge. This edge features a very long life, a very slow break in, is the most rigid tip we have. This is probably the most common blade in Wide Web Flexo. The second profile we're gonna look at is the bevel edge. The bevel edge features a very thin tip that allows for quick break-in on short runs. This is a product of the gravure industry. The next profile is the lamello or the stepped edge profile. This is an offshoot of the gravure industry. It features a very thin tip that allows great break-in and high resolution printing, but suffers from tip flexibility and weakness. The last edge we're gonna take a look at is the wing lamella profile. This is a hybrid or cross between the bevel and the lamella tip. It features a high definition printing tip with the rigidity that allows for longer runs. This profile is cross ground and prevents slivers and spurs of steel getting into your ink chambers and getting into your analog rolls. And these are the four most common edge profiles available in our industry today. An end seal is another important component of an enclosed chamber system. A quality end seal is very important to ensure a leak free system. A well-made end seal should only be changed once or twice a week. Provident end seals are manufactured with tight tolerances based off the press manufacturer and chamber designs. Each model requires a different shape and size. End seals are made with a two-part construction, both rubber and felt. The rubber gives it great resilience and shape memory. The felt provides excellent wear resistance against the analog roll surface. These end seals come pre-lubricated with the food grade grease from the factory, but we recommend applying additional grease on the sides to prevent ink buildup in the chamber. Thank you, Randy. That concludes part one of our two-part series. Be sure to watch part two, Changing Blades with Less Mess. Thank you.